In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Affinity Publisher's text styles to create uh, some headings. So first of all, I've got my uh, page here. It's ready to go. Um, and I'm going to bring in the frame text tool. And I'm going to set the columns to two to create two columns. And I'll just drag that um, over the interior part of the body of the uh, document for the module here. You can see I've created two columns now. Okay, and now I'm just going to um, going to be creating some headings for this first of all, just to start out. So I'm just going to type in uh, over here heading one, heading two, heading three, and heading four. So four different headings. I'm going to go to heading one. If I look over here, if you're on the layers page, you can switch over to the text styles page. And you can see near the, um, somewhere in the middle of this, there's heading one. It's already defined. So I'm going to change this to heading one. Now I don't like the looks of that default one too much. So I'm going to double click on this to edit it. And uh, I'm going to do a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is to change the font to um, Book Antiqua, sort of like that one for this type of heading. And I'm going to change the size. Uh, I'm going to increase that up to 24 points. Then I'm also going to change the color of this. And I have a swatch set up for this one of this sort of dark green color. So I'm going to make this colored and it's going to be a dark green color. And then the last thing I'm going to do is to change the capitals. And so instead of having small letters, I'm going to have all caps, but where there were small letters, they'll be small. So that's called small caps. And so I select small caps for that. There, now that looks pretty good. That's um, just how I like it. So I'm going to hit OK to save those changes. And now my heading one sort of um, shows those changes that I made. So now I'm going to go over to heading two and uh, I'm going to double click on that to edit it. And I'm going to make that again the same font, um, which is this book Antiqua. I'm going to have it uh, 20 this time, and I'm going to make this uh, the color is again going to be the dark green color. And then I'm also going to make the capitals small caps. I uh, just like that. So that's my heading two. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now there is no heading three. Um, so I'm going to um, right click on this and it gives me the option to duplicate heading to, let's see, I'm going to go to, I think I'll go over here to heading three first. I'm going to change that to heading two. And I'm going to duplicate heading two. And so this gives me a heading, it creates a heading three. And uh, I'm going to do two things with this one. First of all, I'm going to make it um, a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go down to font size. Um, Sixteen, and then I'm going to add. Uh, otherwise, it looks pretty good. Then I'm just going to add. A, oh, it, it's not updating this one yet because I haven't saved it yet. But then I'm going to add a decoration to this, which will be. Um, I think I'm going to save it. Okay, and then go to heading three here, so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So um, I'm going to add a decoration to this, so I have to enable it, and then, um, which is that, and then I'm going to have a line underneath, whenever I have a heading 3, I'm going to have a line underneath. So I'm going to select bottom there. Now the line is just going underneath the text, so I'm going to have it, I want it to really extend all the way across the column. So I'm going to have it begin on the left of the column, and on the right it's going to end on the column. Okay. And then for the color of this, I'm going to have it a light green color. And I could go in and edit that. I'm going to bring the saturation down a little bit like that. And then just hit OK. 
and okay. So that's my heading number three. For heading four, I'm going to make that the same as heading two, but I'm going to duplicate that one again, and this time it automatically assigns that to heading four. And um, I'm going to, the only thing different on this one is just the font is going to be size 14. Okay, and so I'm going to change that to heading 4, like that. So those are my four headings. And so you might have, in your uh, module, you might have an introduction, you might have a background um, for what's going on, you might have some common NPCs, um, you might have um, adventure hooks, and you might have an adventure summary. So I can go through and maybe make this first one, I could make that heading one, this I could make heading two, this one maybe is heading three, maybe this one is heading uh, two again, this one is heading two again. So I could, um, as I assign, assigning the different heading styles to each of these is very quick and easy with this uh, text styles feature. Hey, thanks for listening.